Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm so excited to be sharing with you a complete upper body day workout where focus is on back and biceps and a little bit of abs. We kind of sprinkled abs in there a little bit. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, beginning with the superset. So you're gonna first begin with a wide grip lat pull down, minimal movement in the torso here. As you pull that bar down, focus on bringing it almost down to your chest, and you're going to squeeze your lats together as that bar comes down. So complete control, bring the bar down. As you bring it down, squeeze the lats, really making sure that you don't have a lot of movement in the upper body. Now, immediately, no break, you're gonna go ahead and switch your grip, and you're gonna go ahead and bring the hands closer together as well as do an under grip. So you're gonna do a closed under grip lat pull down, but it is the same concept, only the elbows are gonna be coming into your side. And same thing, as the bar comes down, you're gonna squeeze those lats together. They're going to be on fire after this superset. So again, a superset is doing one exercise immediately after another, and then you take a break. And next up we have a one arm dumbbell row. Now with these, what I focus on is instead of trying to think of it as like you're trying to lift your elbow up towards the ceiling, you do lift it up high, you bring it up, but you also bring it back. So I actually like to think of it in my head, like I'm trying to bring the weight towards the hip versus think of it bringing the elbow towards the ceiling and you really want to make sure not to use momentum here the weight is being moved by the muscle that you're working here your back muscle it's not using momentum and standing bicep curls and i used a barbell with these and Frankly, I think I had a little bit too much movement in my body for these, but this I believe was around my third set of these. So you really want to try it again. You just don't want to have a lot of momentum in these until maybe it's like your last few reps. So elbows are t into your side. I focus on just keeping my biceps and elbows tucked into my side and as I curl up I feel a contraction and the lower nice and slow and then follow up with these I went ahead and did seated dumbbell bicep curls what I like about using dumbbells is I have some imbalances in my muscles and I feel like using dumbbells you're working each individual bicep so that way the weaker one is not being helped out by my dominant side. So with these, same concept, elbows into the side, nice and slow, really push yourself with these. They hurt, they burn, but they are so worth it. And then I did do some abs to finish this off. So this is a weighted plank. Now, of course, if you, you know, you do not have to use a weight for these, um, you can do it without a weight. You can do these on your knees as well, um, depending on the level that you're at. But I usually try to hold these for about 30 to 45 seconds, um, basically until I feel a burn and can no longer hold it. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted. And to directly follow these up, I did some leg raises. I will say abs are for sure not my favorite thing to work out. I've been trying very hard to work them out, but leg raises, kind of self-explanatory, but I feel like they really help target that lower abdomen area which I always have an issue really reaching so I did about 15 to 20 of these at a time thank you guys so much for watching as always I appreciate every single one of you if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that big red button I upload new videos every single week twice a week and you don't want to miss it so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.